Good morning from Mexico. We are leaving our Airbnb. We just stayed here because we got in super late last night and we wanted to go down to Tulum and go to the downtown area in Cancun. So that's what we're doing early today. And then we're heading to our resort like around four or five o'clock because last time we didn't really get to see a whole lot. So we're like, let's do this. Plus we got in super late, so it's like, why pay for a resort? So this little cute Airbnb was like $27 a night. Well, the water pressure doesn't work. It looks super cute out here. But yeah, our water stopped working this morning. We don't know if it's just like a Mexico thing that the water might go out frequently. I don't know, we've never had that problem here though before, so. Maybe it's just this building, but regardless, we're going out now. We're going to go to a cenote. We're going to go to the little archaeological zone area there. Um, but we got like a two hour drive. So let's get rolling super early. Let's go. Oh my gosh, babe, you're going 100 miles an hour. Kilometers. <laughs> just kilometers. So you're doing a great job driving. It's not too bad now. Yeah, it's guys will ride your butt they don't care we're pretty much just taking this one road the whole way there we thought about hiring a car but for like a hundred a hundred and fifty dollars a day you could just get a rental car for like 17 20 bucks a day so definitely worth it because if you're in Cancun and you want to go anywhere it's pretty far if you want to go to a cenote you're probably gonna be driving like two hours so we're driving two hours down to Tulum but like if you want to go to Chichen Itza or anything like that that's like three hours so there's lots of driving and it's definitely worthwhile like GPS works here fine super easy to get around roads a little crazy but I mean a we've little seen, a little but we've crazy. seen crazy I've seen crazier um, Boston yeah Boston New York if you could drive there you could drive here um, at least Andy Andy does good driving and I do good navigating <laughs> And we speak like very little Spanish and we still manage to get around just fine even though sometimes it's kind of weird just I feel like it'd be way more helpful to know Spanish, don't you? Alto, stop! We're going down to the Dos Ojos Cenote and I really hope it's not super crowded. We tried to get up early but we got in so late and it's we left at 8 so I hope that that'll be okay. Um, because it does get crowded it says but we are going during the week so today's a Wednesday although I really hope it's also Cinco de Mayo so I hope it's not busy because of that uh, what do you think busy not busy I think it's gonna be busy busy yep. I think it's like um, like 18 US to get in there so we're gonna snorkel there a bit super excited yeah, yeah. where were we um, I think we were in Hawaii when we tried to snorkel and it was like 60 bucks just to like go use their where were we? No, what? that was Cozumel. Wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, because we rode there on the scooter. Remember? It was just so expensive, like 18 bucks isn't that bad compared to that. Oh, just to get into the just area? To get in. It was like 50 or 60 like US bucks. Probably because they wanted to sell you a chair and everything like that. Umbrella. So if you're ever in Mexico, you want to hit up one of these, an OXXO. These are just like convenience stores, food, water. They also have gas here, so super easy. All right, I'm going to use my phone. So we just got to the cenote. Andy's already in. I was taking pictures. But I'm going to bring my phone. He said it's really cold. <laughs> Do you see anything? Huh? Is there any fish? Oh, yeah. I hate swimming with a life jacket. I haven't done this in so long. Yeah, that sucks. Sucks. But it's nice to float. Yeah. It's not too cold once you actually get in. Oh, oh, oh you're kicking me. Sorry. You're kicking me. <laughs> but it's really big, so I'm going to go put my snorkel on and do some snorkeling. But we at least wanted to see it. So we ate lunch before we got here. And let's just say it was very good. So overpriced for Mexico. So if you're trying to eat on the cheap, don't eat right by the ruins because it's expensive. We just had some street tacos. Again, super 
super good, but it was like 35 bucks. It's like we pay less than this at home for tacos. Yep. Um, and for reference, like an actual like street cart is like will be like 50 cents for a taco. So super cheap in Puerto Vallarta. Um, we just have not done that here. We're not doing that much exploring to where we will find it, but yeah, definitely overpriced. But this itself is only 80 pesos to get in, so it is like four dollars. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. What you think? Well beyond their time. You think that straw hut's always been there? Probably not. <laughs> you think that iguana's always been there? He definitely has not always been there, but maybe at least for the past two years. Got up to the beach, but the beach itself is actually closed. It looks so refreshing right now. What's your favorite thing today? Um, getting ripped off at the taco shack. That was great. They're good tacos though, so I'd be like, can you really complain? So, cenote, your favorite part? Oh yeah, so far. Just getting in the water was so like, so perfect, I don't know. Yeah, me too. I'm glad we finally did one. We wanted to do one last time we were here and we just didn't get around to it. We did like a snorkeling tour instead. So this time we did a cenote. There's like hundreds, thousands of them here. So next time we're like, we should just go cenote hopping because we liked that. I'd say way better than the ruins. The ruins was nice, super cheap to do. Um, good to see once, but it was so hot, right? Incredibly hot, my God. So hot. My, my <laughs> so. neck, my back, my arms are all what? hot. So cool to see, we probably won't go back there. The little area there though is cool if you want like souvenirs and stuff, but definitely like super overpriced for Mexico. Um, we got a shot glass for $2, two I mean, that's pretty good. Anyway. We did get our shot glass. That's like the one souvenir we get everywhere because, I don't know, they're just small, easy to travel with. We actually have to go drop our rental car off at the airport and then we're going to get a shuttle to our resort. So I don't get it. In Mexico, everyone drives with their hazard lights on. Um, you could buy. I like that you could buy stuff just like straight off the road. There's so much traffic, but it's like, why are the hazards on? I'm so confused at first and I've realized that it's like anytime you come into traffic and you're slowing down, people put on their hazards. And I get it initially, like to get the person behind you to get their attention, but why do they keep them on? I don't know. Throughout the whole duration of yeah, throughout the bumper whole to bumper. Yeah, I, I don't get it. But yeah, see like one, two, three, about half the cars have them on. All right, we have made it to the excellence. This just, I forgot why, I knew I loved it, but I forgot why I loved it so much. Like nothing else really compares. It's just so amazing. So last time we got like a super bougie room with like a rooftop pool and everything. This time we got like a basic room and this, let's do a little room tour. You're helping yourself to the bar. Already. So all of this gets like restocked every day, eating chips. Hungry. So we got our little mini bar. This comes restocked. Every single day. So, ooh, they had peanut M&Ms last time. Last time it was like regular M&Ms and Snickers. Oh my gosh. I literally brought my steamer and they had a steamer, like not even an ironing board. Loved it. Like all of this just so nice. Sitting area over here, like it's just so clean. So amazing, so you nice. No, I'm good. You're good. And then like last time we had an amazing view. This time we're just kind of like at the back because we just got a regular room. But still, cute little patio. Aren't you glad we didn't choose a new place this time? Or no, you I'm wish we- I'm used to this one, I like it a lot. You're used to this one, you've been here one other time. I'm used to it. The room is like almost identical. Yeah, except last time we had a huge like staircase here that went up to the top room. But other than that, like this is the exact same size as the other one, which was super nice. So this is the Excellence Riviera Maya. Absolutely obsessed with it. We're just gonna hang out, uh, maybe head to the pool for a few, then come back at change and get ready for some dinner. Well, today's our last full day. I realized why we never vlog on these trips because we just chill and relax eat and eat. lots and of food. Eat lots of food. Well, so far on this trip, my phone died when I took it in the cenote. Uh, it started acting up after that, even though I've taken it in the water several times. Uh, so bad idea. So I haven't had a phone the whole trip. Don't do it. <laughs> also, I've had water in my ear the whole trip that I cannot get out no matter what I try. Ready to um, Let's go eat because I've been ready breakfast. since like seven this morning. You keep sleeping. Okay, let's go. You guys speak loudly at the camera. It's very windy. Where are we going? You just answered that question. Snorkeling. <laughs> no, you were zoomed in on my head. 
going snorkeling. Yeah, we forgot to vlog our breakfast. So a little key tip, just go off the beach, off the resort a little bit, to like a little shack on the side and they'll take you out snorkeling in Cancun. Yeah, good discount. Yeah, it's like 30 bucks a person. I don't want to get the vlog. So we suck at vlogging. <laughs> we didn't get like anything today. And that's the only thing sometimes. I'm just like, by the end of the night, I really don't want to get dressed up all the time. Um, and I still have water in my ear. I thought maybe snorkeling, sometimes adding more water to your ear helps. It doesn't. We're just gonna hit up Hibachi. We're packing up. Okay, so I guess we will never vlog at a resort again because we do awful. Um, the sun's setting. Maybe we'll show you guys around a little bit, but that means then I have to carry my camera to dinner. So it's just like, ugh, it's very difficult. Um, so you have a clutch or something? Huh? You have a clutch? No, I didn't bring any purse whatsoever. So what do you think? Should we bring the camera or no? Don't do. Usually like in instances like this, I would vlog from my phone, but I broke my phone. So I don't know, maybe not. Maybe we'll just call this an end. I wanted to look back at this because I wish we had a vlog from our first trip here, but then I realized it's the same thing. Like what are we gonna <laughs> exactly vlog? <laughs> like pictures, yeah. pictures are great. I'm so glad I bought a disposable camera. So we'll have some like film photos, which will be cool. Really neat. Yeah. So I guess we'll call it an end, an end to the trip. End to the trip. We leave tomorrow at uh, 5.30 a.m. in the morning, so that is not super fun. Uh, so that's gonna be it. We'll see you guys back home. Bye.